Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's see what today's problem is. Problem is squares of a sorted array. Very easy problem. Uh, so problem uh, states that we are given an integer array sorted in non-decreasing order. So it's basically sorted in ascending order. Return an array of squares of each number. So we have to square each number and we have to return that array sorted in ascending order. Okay, so it looks very easy problem. Let's see how I'll just clear the canvas. One second. Yeah. So uh, problem is uh, array is minus 4, minus 1, 0, 3, 10. 0, 3 and 10. Okay. We have to just do squares. Uh, so this is ascending order, right? We just need to do squares and we need to return the final array in ascending order so it's one approach which is obviously very simple is that i'll just simply do a square of all this so four square is uh, 16 minus one square will be one zero square will be zero three square will be nine ten square will be hundred then i have to return this array in ascending order so i will simply sort it so i would put maybe zero one nine sixteen hundred so this is 0, 1, 9, Very easy. So two steps which we have done is first of all square of each number. After that second step is sort the square array. Square array. So these two steps we do and our problem is done. Time complexity. Since we are doing sorting. So it's O O N log N space complexity is constant, no extra space. Right. So or like uh, for the storing of the squares, right? My bad. For square uh, storing of the squares, we will be having an extra array. So it will be O of N. Okay, space complexity. Fine. This looks really simple, but we can reduce it. We can optimize the solution uh, with the, we can reduce it to O of N time. Okay. Now let's see how. Let me just quickly write the input again. So it's minus four, minus one, zero, minus four, minus one, zero, one and uh, three and 10. So see guys, this 10. We basically need to do square. We may basically need to do square so if it's a negative number ultimately when you square it it will become positive right so even if i write minus four if I, or if i write four it's same because ultimately i'll be getting square okay so what i will do right uh, i just need to create a square array from in ascending order right like here the smallest square and then the largest square i will just make a make an array of same size as this one okay I will create this array 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 now what I'll do I will have two pointers one at the first index and the one other one at the last index so this let's say this is I and let's say this is J okay all right now I will compare, I will compare like is my i value just the absolute value, I will not take minus 4, I will take 4, okay, because ultimately we need square and it will, even if it's minus, if it's negative or positive, it doesn't make any difference. So I will check is the array of i is less than arr of j, arr of j is what, 10 and arr of i is 4. Yes. So obviously square of this one will be greater than this one. Obviously 100 square will be greater. 10 square. Right. So if this is the case, if this is the case, uh, here it will be absolute. Okay. Absolute. So let me just write it like this. Absolute of ARR of I less than absolute of ARR of J. Okay, 
if this is the case simply in this uh, let's say this is my result array in the result array i will keep a pointer we'll start from this one last index result of k is equal equal to since this is bigger right obviously then this will come here so result of k will be arr of j square and now since we have already taken this j value i will do j minus minus so my j will now come here and my k oh sorry my since k this position is already filled this one which is 100 now we'll move k to this one so k minus minus similarly if else is the case like let's say now here if you see arr of i is 4 absolute value right and arr of j is 3 so now arr of i is greater than arr of j it will go in else and we will store in result of k we will store square of arr of i square square okay and i will do i plus plus and k minus minus so 4 square will be 16 we will store here we will move k to here and my i will go i plus plus here similarly again 1 is less than 3 so 1 is less than 3 this condition is fulfilled j square 9 will get stored here okay k will move forward j will come here now 1 is greater than 0 arr of i is 1 arr of j is 0 it will go in else 1 square 1 will be stored here and uh, 1 will be stored here and we will be uh, getting we will be doing k minus minus and j and uh, i will come here forward i plus plus okay I will go here now both are equal so else it will go in result k will store 0 here k will be finished and again I here I'll uh, I will come here okay at this pointer so basically we have traversed the entire array and we have stored the square so very simple what we have done is we'll be iterating okay so what we are doing is we uh, started i here j here from the first and the last index comparing the values whichever value is greater square of that we will store at k position and we will move k in from last index to first so let's see the code code quickly for this i hope you have understood the problem this uh, approach so we have started i at starting index j at the last index okay we have created this result array i'll start from the last index i'll start from k from the last index if i value is greater than j store i square in k i do i plus plus and if it's j value is greater store j square in k and do j minus minus so i hope you have understood this it's passing so if you found the video helpful please like it share with your friends subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video Thank you.